Welcome to Qt eLearning channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the amine stress corrosion cracking. Description of damage. Amine stress corrosion cracking, or amine cracking, is the cracking of steels under the combined action of tensile stress and an aqueous alkanolamine solution used to remove, absorb, hydrogen sulfide and or carbon dioxide and their mixtures from various gas and liquid hydrocarbon stream. Amine cracking is a form of alkaline stress corrosion cracking, ASCC. It is most often found at or adjacent to non-post weld heat treated carbon steel welds or in highly cold worked parts. As illustrated in figure, a photomicrograph of a cross section of a weld in non-post weld heat treated carbon steel piping showing a mean stress corrosion cracking in the vicinity of a piping weld. Affected materials Carbon steel and low alloy steels Critical factors The critical factors are the level of tensile stress the type of amine, and temperature. Increasing stress level increases, the likelihood and severity of cracking. Increasing temperature increases, the likelihood and severity of cracking. However, cracking has been reported down to ambient temperatures with some amines, monoethanolamine in particular. Amine cracking is most often associated with lean amine services. Cracking is more likely to occur in monoethanolamine and diethanolamine services. Cracking can occur in non-post weld heat treated piping and equipment as the result of exposure to steam out and to short term amine carryover. Affected units or equipment. All non PWHT at carbon steel piping and equipment in a mean service, including contactors, absorbers, strippers, filters, regenerators, and heat exchangers. Equipment in rich amine service is less susceptible than equipment in lean amine service. Appearance or morphology of damage. Amine stress corrosion cracking, cracks initiate on the process side surface of piping and equipment. Primarily at welds, in the heat affected zone and or the weld metal. At set on nozzles, the cracks are radial in the base metal and usually parallel to the weld. Positive identification of amine cracking can be confirmed by metallographic analysis. The cracking is typically intergranular and oxide filled with some branching. Prevention, Mitigation Carbon steel welds in piping and equipment should be stress relieved in accordance with API 945 and NACE SP0472 The recommended minimum stress relief temperature is 
1175 plus or minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Consider using solid or clad stainless steel, or other corrosion resistant alloys, in lieu of carbon steel. Thoroughly water wash non post weld heat treatment, carbon steel piping and equipment. Prior to welding, heat treatment, or steam out. Inspection and monitoring. Wet fluorescent magnetic particle testing, alternating current field measurement, and eddy current testing can be effective techniques to detect these surface breaking cracks. Angle beam shear wave ultrasonic testing and phased array ultrasonic testing ultrasonic techniques can be effective to detect and size cracks. Acoustic emission testing can be used for locating cracks and monitoring crack growth. Related mechanisms Caustic stress corrosion kraken and carbonate stress corrosion kraken are other forms of alkaline stress corrosion cracking that are similar in appearance. Ammonia stress corrosion kraken of carbon steel is also similar in appearance. Summary Description Amine cracking is a common term applied to the cracking of steels. Under the combined action of tensile stress and corrosion, in aqueous alkanolamine systems, amine cracking is most often associated with lean amine services. Amine cracking is a form of alkaline stress corrosion cracking. It is most often found at or adjacent to non-post weld heat treatment carbon steel weldments or in highly cold worked parts. Temperature range operation temperature affected metallurgy carbon steel and low alloy steels prevention post weld heat treatment all carbon steel welds in piping and equipment in accordance with api 945 and nace sp0472 Using solid or clad stainless steel or other corrosion resistant alloys, in lieu of carbon steel. Water wash non post weld heat treatment carbon steel piping and equipment. Prior to welding, heat treatment, or steam out. Inspection methods WFMT, ACFM, and ECT. Angle beam, SWUT, and PAUT. AET. Practice time. Question number one. Amine cracking is most often associated with. Answer is A. Question number two. Which of the following does not appear to have a significant effect on the propensity for amine stress corrosion cracking? Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.